Register Phenomena Code 955 Object Class Gamma Orange Hazard Types Grouped Hazard Extradimensional Hazard Immeasurable Hazard Info Hazard Destabilization Hazard Containment Protocols Due to the status of RPC-955 as a parallel reality, full containment is currently impossible at this time. However, containment of the multitude of access points leading to RPC-955 is both possible and a currently ongoing endeavor. Although RPC-955 is technically a different manifestation of RPC-956, the containment protocols listed in RPC-956 do not apply to RPC-955. Entrance to RPC-955 is entirely dictated upon whether or not the person accessing it has consumed large amounts of tonally dark science fiction media in their lifetime. If the accessing person has not seen a significant amount of science fiction, they will instead manifest inside RPC-956. In the event someone meeting the criteria accesses RPC-955, personnel stationed inside RPC-955 are to apprehend them and interrogate them, before forcibly ejecting them from RPC-955. RPC-955 can be accessed, provided the person accessing it meets the criteria described above, via a multitude of ways, the most prominent of which being that the person accessing it is in an area with a sufficiently low light level, in an area where the weather is either raining and or snowing, smoking a cigarette, reading, watching science fiction media in the aforementioned setting. If the person is doing two or more of these things, they will enter RPC-955 and will be designated RPC-955-1. Authority personnel have been stationed inside RPC-955 at multiple entry points to apprehend instances of RPC-955-1. RPC-955 is a reality that is splintered off from our own via the large consumption of the 1980s dark futuristic aesthetic in modern culture. Entrances to RPC-955 are almost always able to be easily spotted at entry points, due to objects being able to cross into our reality from RPC-955. These objects looking extremely different to any modern technology or standard objects in our reality. These objects, if found, are to be sent to Site-016 and labeled as lesser anomalies for storage. The reality of RPC-955 takes on the appearance of a futuristic version of the modern New York City, bearing the same name and recognizable street names and landmarks. However, technological advancement in this reality is far beyond that of our own baseline reality in such ways comparable to popular cyberpunk fiction. The technological advancements have only been in areas of private industrialization and or military applications, and not in ways as to benefit the lower classes of society. Due to this, the lower middle class in RPC-955 can be comparable to baseline realities impoverished citizens, despite the advanced technology in our reality. Numerous technologies in RPC-955 are physically and technically impossible, along with numerous architectural designs and inconsistencies in the societal structure. For instance, no farms have ever been found inside RPC-955, nor has the city ever seemed to end. According to residents of RPC-955, designated RPC-955-2 instances, food is transported from other cities. However, no other cities have been found inside RPC-955, only New York City. The largest structure discovered in RPC-955 is, according to RPC-955-2 instances, 35,786 km tall and reaches in a low Earth orbit. The structure has yet to be explored entirely, as the money required to access some floors is too expensive for testing personnel to acquire in a reasonable time period. Proposals have been put forward to station trusted low-level personnel inside RPC-955 permanently. However, no personnel have ever willingly asked to be stationed inside RPC-955 for a long enough time to become attached. Inside RPC-955 exists a multitude of factions vaguely resembling baseline reality nations and corporations. 
the most notable of which have been labeled RPC-955-3 instances. Factions that know of our reality are labeled RPC-955-3A, whereas factions that are unaware are labeled RPC-955-3B. There are a total of three recorded RPC-955-3 instances, two of which are not categorized groups of interest, nor RPC-955-3A instances. The singular recorded RPC-955-3A instance is, seemingly, the group of interest Nucorp, which, at some unrecorded point in the past, established a foothold inside RPC-955. Nucorp, hence referred to as RPC-955-3A, is active inside RPC-955, and has a significant amount of influence over other factions and several smaller street gangs. RPC-9553A have been observed using these smaller factions as a cumulative source of manpower, and as a way to expand their influence upon other factions inside RPC-955. RPC-9553A has given Authority personnel much information regarding the cultural history and technological advancements inside RPC-955, which can be found below. They have also given personnel most of the information about RPC-955 that is found in this document, which could not have been easily gathered through testing. The Anthropology Department RPC-955, despite being a parallel reality and entirely separate from our baseline reality, shares numerous similarities with normal cultural development in our version of the explored area of RPC-955, that being New York City. The factions discovered inside RPC-955 show similarities to stereotypical street gangs and or mafias found in the region, and to corrupt corporations such as RPC-9553A, referred to as just New Court for the purposes of this overview, also show symptoms of being blown up stereotypes of baseline reality corporate behaviors. However, <clears throat> however. The same may be said for the entirety of RPC-955 as a whole, since the observed class system is such that, if it were established in our baseline reality, it would not last for more than three decades at most. The class system inside RPC-955 follows the same basic structure as the class system of the modern United States. However, the middle class seemingly ceases to exist inside RPC-955. The technological advancement found inside RPC-955 also does not follow normal growth, and instead has jumped all over the place in seemingly random areas. RPC-9553A representatives have been mainly cooperative with Authority agents, even going so far as to explain the lack of anomalies within an RPC-955. According to RPC-9553A representatives, a machine was built in the RPC-955 timeline that nearly nullified anomalies, and brought the ACS level of the timeline down to a 1. The creators of this machine have been assumed to be the RPC-955 equivalent of the Authority. However, this has not been proven, merely suspected. Attention. The following information has been declassified for all personnel above Level 0 clearance. Notice, RPC-955 is NOT the group of interest cataloged as the Righteous Central Protection Authority, nor does it have anything to do with this group of interest. Although the area depicted inside RPC-955 is notably similar to the timeline this group of interest originates from, it is entirely unrelated. Sightings of the RCPA insignia within RPC-955 are to be reported to GD-01 immediately. 